Hello, welcome back. Or if you just joined us, welcome to part two. I'd love to have music in this, but you know, DMCA. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows if that's copyrighted? It doesn't actually tell me. So I shall assume it is. Full screen, 1920. Yeah. Sensitivity, I don't know what that needs to be on yet. Smoothing, I've turned off the mouth. Mouth? Mouth? Motion blur. <laughs> Take your foot out your mouth. Tab is map. Jump space bar control. Eats interact. Okay. Change tool mouse wheel or one to nine. Use tool left mouse button. Flashlight F. Grab hold the right mouse button. Grab distance, whatever that is. Throw is RMB plus LMB. There you go. That's as much as I've done in this game so far. Uh, Mr. Tech Tiger, thank you for a year. Uh, Akandi, thank you for 27. TG fan with 10. I stick with four happy years. Thank you, I stick. I am Bonio with 33 and Yusuf with two months. Squirrel, nice to be here for two months. Thank you, mate. Thank you for carrying on your sub. In the stream, Mr. Dave said that some of the audio files is externally licensed. And that's why the files are shipped encoded. Don't know what that specifically is. <laughs> I assume he means the music is like copyrighted. In which case, yeah, I'm better turning it off. We'll probably only get half the experience. Play, campaign, sandbox, create. I don't know. Campaign, sandbox. Oof. Is, there a, is there a tutorial in this? I got a copyright on the rain sound. Walk home. Okay, is it me or is there a really strange, blurry vignette thing going on here? Like the sign over there I can see, but on the outside, my vision, I can't see. What is that? What's that all about? i tell you what, compared to Minecraft, those blocks are really small. What's happened so far? I've been dropped off at the bus stop. I'm, I'm pretty freaked out by this blurry thing. How do we... Um, barrel distortion. Okay, that's helped a little bit. Not a lot, but... Jump. Invisible wall hype. You play Minecraft? Yep, obviously. Ooh. They actually had a go at making waves, look. Oh, that blur is just freaky, though. What is that? I think they call it voxels, don't they? When it's like this. It's part of the game. So there's no way you can turn it off and just not have weird blurriness. That's the options. That's a little bit better. I don't want to be too... No, that's fine. It's not depth of field. Depth of field is what goes into it. That's not depth of field. Look. It has a depth of field in some sense, but I can see in focus the thing in front of me and the thing in the distance. That's not depth of field. What this is, is like a focal radial blur, right? So if I look at something, I can't, you know, I can see it. The moment I start to look away, it starts to get this like weird, weird blurry effect on it. She's just a bit odd. I already turned off motion blur. I didn't see any head bob. Head bob. So try lowering this if you experience nausea or dizziness. All right, let's turn it off completely. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll go with that. That's about as unweird as I can make it, I think.
Hold and drag to open doors. So when you drag something, the rest of like the rest of the world becomes like you've took your glasses off. <laughs> I made some odd choices. Go inside. I like that windmill thing. That's cool. I like the way they tried to like put on a rusty texture as well. I wonder if you can break that. How dare you put a tree branch in front of the door like that? You can break everything. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, is, is this our office or is this the boss's office? That's a solid chair. I'm not going to lie. That's that's not come from Ikea. Blimey. I'm impressed. Um, oh, was I meant to come in this way as a tutorial to how to move boxes? This guy is pretty strong, you know. <laughs> I think that landed in the water, look. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside and see what's what's going on. What does it want me to do? Pick up fire extinguisher. Oh my god. God, that's amazing. Oh, that's the most amazing thing. It looks like it's solid. But then it kind of goes into a... Oh, my God. That's incredible. <laughs> Treadmill. listen to that thing it's probably weird stuff it's not like a normal extinguisher it, it kind of it can run out no oh, rip it never told me that it kind of starts off like a solid like a bit of candy floss oh, it's literally like candy floss and then it turns into this gas thing it's just bizarre what's in here a spray can the inevitable sledge replace the fuse to turn on power okay one sec let me break something else first though oh my god so violent um how do we change how do you just go to your hand again to pick things up oh there you go Oh my god. That hit the tree? As if? Careful with that. Let me, you, I will not be careful with a sledgehammer. It's the whole point is to hit things. Squirrel rage. Let's go and find out. Uh, don't like that plant. I never liked that plant. Is that a safe?
Maybe that's the boiler. Is that a boiler or something? Stupid tree. Right. I need to try and replace the fuse now without actually... Look, I, I just want to put the sledge down. How do I just put the sledge down? How do I go to like, empty hands again? I don't trust myself with this thing. <laughs> Place fuse. Where did we get a fuse from? Go inside and check messages. Hmm. Demolition revenues are down. Construction revenues are up. It's not like it used to be, says Tracy. It's not like it used to be. Lee Chemicals in the black. So Lee Chemicals have finally showed black figures for the last fiscal year. CEO Lawrence G Lee Jr. says they've expanded into new markets. He doesn't want to go into further details. As if. <gasps> Hang on, that's DMCA. I can't listen to that. Kind of news network music on. Hey, wait a minute, is that actually an upstairs to this? One sec. I want to go and see what this. I mean, is that actually food? Oh god. I think the ketchup is stuck. Don't know what that is. <laughs> I tell you what, I like the audio. Little squeaky floor floorboards. Oh, so there was health damage off that. Hang on. There's a little health bar right behind me that pops up. It's a gas bill. Gas bill just dropped on the floor. Honestly, I'm not sure we can make it through the month. Are you getting any requests? At this point, we pretty much have to accept anything. Be creative. Hugs, mum. Mum can't pay the gas bill. Head of sales. Dear me. This just came in. Sounds kind of fishy. But we need the money. Good evening. My name is Gordon Wu, general manager of Evertides Mall. I have a slight problem with an old building that's blocking our plans for a new wing, and we need someone to knock it over. Have you got planning permission for this? I need it gone by tomorrow, and I'd even be willing to pay more than the standard rate for some extra discretion. Quick execution and uncomfortable working hours. Would you be able to take care of it? Um, well, I've got no money, so, you know. Earn cash by finding hidden valuables. Spend cash on tool upgrades on the tool tab. No upgrades available. No upgrades available. No upgrades available. Mission Evertides. What is this? Evertides Mall. Is that where the, the place is? Well, considering it's the only mission, we better take it, right? An upscale shopping centre by the waterfront, managed by Gordon Wu. Also in the area is Locale Municipality Folk Museum. Folk Museum? An old building is blocking Gordon's plans for a new wing at the mall. Help him demolish it. Right, we need to remember what this house looks like. So it's like a, a brick chimney next to a tree with the thing in the distance. All right, let's do it. Let's go, and, let's go and blow some stuff up. The old building problem. Wait, hang on. Primary targets. How do you move this mouse? Oh, there you go. Primary targets. Your position. 
escape vehicle. So this is the escape. This is how after we leave. I take it I can use the JCB. Go and do stuff with that. So when we're ready, we just press E to escape. Fair enough. 6.3 meters too tall. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is that is the mission completion measured by how tall it is? <laughs> Propane tanks explode when thrown. Okay. Highly explosive propane tank. Can we just move the uh, pack out the way then? What if you hit one with a sledgehammer? <laughs> one sec, let's have a quick look around. I can drive that. Drive that. Well, I might I might set up an explosion in the house in a minute, but I'm just kind of having a quick nosy. See, there's, there's even more here. Got loads of propane tanks. We just got to be careful not to throw them. I could see how we could easily kill ourselves doing this. Right, so the basic plan is going to be. Something, something along the lines, dude, can you just not be there? Right. So we put this in the corner. We, we put some explosive things in the corner and then we just throw one in. That's what I'm thinking. Right, hang on. Thinking we just do this. Any game where you get to blow things up is a good game, right? <laughs> we'll jam that in the fireplace. We'll put like middle. We could kind of we can't get upstairs, can we? This is a weird house. It actually doesn't have a staircase. Don't you? Put that in here on the back wall. Make sure that corner goes. I feel like a demo expert all of a sudden. I must admit, I quite like the game allows you to just get rid of things. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing, there's nothing here that just kind of restricts you. If you want to knock someone down, it's like, yeah, come on, knock it down. I don't know how many explosives we'll need, though. Right into the corner. Make sure we get the corners, guys. It's all about the corners. You can't switch off the depth of field. Look, I couldn't turn it off. Oh, there you go. Hang on. Depth of field view. No, that's field of view. Depth of field enabled, disabled. Oh, God, that's so much better. Does that still do it when you pick it up as well? Oh, that's so much better. Good grief. Now I don't feel like I'm walking around with some really jam jar spectacles on. Dear you me. We'll put that one up there. You don't you fall off. We don't want any uh, accidents. Well, there are there clearly aren't any valuables. There's only one floor for a kickoff, but who knows? There might be might be a way of getting upstairs. Maybe if you, like, pick this up. Stand it like that. See? 
just, just nothing up here. It's just boring. Is it Minecraft? Yeah, just got smaller blocks. Hang on, can, should we put some upstairs then? No, we can. Then we just need one more to throw in, right? And then I presume we better we better leg it pretty quickly. What's all these vandalism? Was there nothing nothing nickable? What do collectible things look like? Save often. How do we save? Quick save. There you go. Is there a hotkey for that? Options. Well, there's no hotkey for save. GG. Right, so if we just quickly make a hole here. And then... Don't you go exploding on me. And now we can throw one in, right? Okay. You ready for this? I'm not going to lie, I'm slightly disappointed. I expected a very big bang, and what I actually got was a few... I mean, why is that? It's not even blown up, look. What was the chain reaction I was expecting? Dude. Oh god, we've got unexploded bombs here. <laughs> what just happened? I just, I just detonated. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is why we needed explosives. Um, okay, how do I do a quick load? Let's try that again. Let's try... Uh... Whoa, that thing's tough. That thing is tough. Well, half of these aren't going to blow up. That made me jump. I didn't even throw the darn thing. <laughs> All I did was walk out with it. Oh, my God. Okay, stuff happened then. How are you still standing exactly? Oh, God, there's a bomb, though. One sec. I, I, I don't know how this thing is still up right, but there you go. Is that another explosive thing? No! As if that's still on. Use your extinguisher to put out the fires. But we like fires, don't we? Why do we want to put out the fire? Surely the fire will just raise it to the ground. Why do we not want to fire? Is this a Russian house or something? Why doesn't it fall over? Oh boy, oh boy. I'm kind of curious as to how these physics work. <laughs> Hang on, let's, let's just get some bigger equipment over here. I'm disappointed by the propane tanks, I'm not going to lie.
LMB, RMB, shovel. There we go. This is way more effective. <laughs> Should we take the shed as well? Might as well. Do a proper job. I take it it's measuring the success based on the height of the chimney. 1.1 meters too tall. Mission accomplished. Let's go. Let's get out of here before somebody hears us. <laughs> if they turn up, I'll hit them with the, with the uh, sledgehammer. Okay, that was interesting. Learned a couple of things, though. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, is that my alarm? Shut up! I don't want an alarm. <laughs> oh, the news is on. Caretaker enthusiast Brett Johnson found the building raised <laughs> when arriving this morning. According to the police, the perpetrators did a quick job on the old building. An investigation has been opened. Uh-oh. So apparently that was a cultural heritage site. Lee Chemicals Marina Move is moving parts of their operation to the West Point. This opens up opportunities in new business areas. Where we, together with our partners, can disrupt the market through long-term strategic synergies. Oh, I love it. I love it. Says Lawrence J. Jr., CEO of Lee Chemicals. Very synergistic. Nope. Copyright. Have we got any cash yet? Why did we get paid? Wait, why did we get paid for the last one? <clears throat> what a modern shouldn't have taken that job i knew something wasn't right that building was under cultural heritage protection and the demolition is now part of a criminal investigation must turn him in at the police to send me this photo <laughs> was that us trying to get away they must have caught you on a traffic camera heading towards the mall. The very last thing we read right now is an investigation. I tried sweet talking her and she thought she could get the case dropped, but asked her for a favor in return. I don't know what she wants, but just do it. She'll email you. Yeah, so like she'll ask us to do something which will be even more dodgy. And then she'll clear us of this, but we'll be in even deeper water. Here we go. Just so you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm stuck on a case and I feel like I should do something new. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months, but he's so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort out this mess? If you do this for me, I'll make sure your little blunder will be forgotten. Okay. Lee Chemicals. Operated by the Lee family for three generations, Lee... Lawrence Lee Jr. showed a promising start but developed a weakness of fast cash. He is now well known for a name in the criminal underworld. Mr. Durker, thank you very much for 56 months. Paul, my friend, how you doing, buddy? Hope you and the family are keeping well and safe. Mate, I'm doing fine. I hope you're, um, I hope you're well. I hope the brewery's going well. Can't wait to try some proper beer. And when I can, I'll get down. I'll fly down to you. I'll have a beer. Stay safe. Mr. Military Vet Gamer, thank you for seven months. Teddy, thank you for 36. Happy three-year anniversary. Pick up three computers at the site. Okay. Easy. Easy, mate. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, David NH, thank you very much. L. Phillips, thank you for 35. Anchor Smile with 28. Thank you, guys. Right, let's have a look at the map. Your location, escape vehicle, primary targets, office, harbor, and factory. All right, we'll start at the factory because that's furthest away. 
we'll work our way backwards. So we'll do factory, then office, then harbour. I mean, is there any, like, security lighting we have to take out? Oh, here we go. Security fire alarm. Large fires will trigger the alarm. Okay. So if we set anything on fire, we need to put it out quickly. That's what I'm getting from this. Northern Alex, sir, how you doing? Yeah, your mum dad dad died yesterday. NHS, I'm sorry to hear that. Really am. Let's put that there. Let's put that there. Oi! Oi! Okay, stick that within. That's the office. Uh, scope joint. There's some good modeling, don't they? Eh? Get them that. Maybe there's some like bonus things we can nick. We have a look around. Bonus money. Save your progress anytime. By pressing escape, choosing quick save. Or by pressing the hot key, which we didn't implement. Let's open that. Ooh. Picked up a bottle of golf mirror worth $20. Whatever that is. See? It pays to poke around. Don't see anything in the roof rafters, do you? Try this place. Do you reckon this... Do you reckon that's a fire alarm control panel, maybe? And if you actually take that out, then... The fire alarm won't go off anyway. I am wondering. Let's do a quick save. How do we get over there then? Fail. Well, that's annoying. One sec. <laughs> Let me get back on dry land. There we go. I wanted to have a poke around. Oh, it's locked. It's not locked. Oh, that's one of the... That's one of the uh, computers. I'm just going to leave that for a second. Oh, that's solid. That's proper solid, that is. There must be something in here. that is that the power thing maybe that's the power for the fire alarm maybe if you can break into that you can actually turn it off i was wondering if we can jump from there to there can we get into this place I'm probably going to get, like, fined or something for titanium screwdrivers. I'll probably get fined for all this damage I'm causing. <laughs> Rip. So the sledgehammer won't go through brick. Duly noted.
was wondering if they'd left something in here. I'm, tr I'm trying to get on the roof because I'm wondering if I can get into this building from the roof. Okay. Scumbag. You see, that is breakable. So I, I can get in the roof, look. If we can make something that will allow us to climb. Come on, bro. Out you come. Use the vehicles to knock down brick. I don't see any vehicles, though. I'm just trying to get inventive. Blue Lion, thank you for 28 months. No, don't fall off, you scumbag. Stay on the... Stay. Right, here we go. Just before I drop in here, I'm going to quick save just in case I can't get out. <laughs> just as I suspected. Oh, look. $80 tile cutter. Oh, yeah. I probably can't get out, but I found a tile cutter. That's completely locked. Come on. Switch gear station. Is that important? Sounds important. Oh my god. Uh, there's things you find you keep. Oh, that's all right. So if I find an item, I don't actually lose it, even if I die. That's handy. There we go. We're out. We got in, though. We've been in that one, haven't we? Quite what I expected to happen. I, was, I thought it might float, but this is hilarious. Vehicle condition. <laughs> Sixty dollars. We're making money. There's nothing in the roof rafters. I find it. I do, oh look, I do find it amusing how it'll just let you do what you want. I wonder if this is locked. Nothing powering these computers now. <laughs> oh god, look at all the propane tanks. Hmm. I can't help but think there must be something up here that I'm missing. I 
that there's an awful lot of nothing here. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew it. Oh, there's a door here. Some kind of production line. Oh, can we, can we, oh. I thought we could actually use the little fort left. That would have been cool. We're not being paid to break this guy's stuff, but hey. <laughs> what? This is hilarious. How do we get in the... This bit? A microscope? What's well, $60? Nice. What? If we're going to make graffiti, what symbol do we want? We need to leave like a symbol so they know that we've done it. Like our, our, our calling card. Yeah, like I'm going to draw a squirrel logo. <laughs> yeah. See, I was thinking something pretty simple. <laughs> I mean, we could just tell them who did it, because obviously that's what a smart criminal would do. You know. Just like, wonder who did this? <laughs> Maybe it's a double black. Maybe he's trying to incriminate somebody else. Been in though. I think we have, haven't we? Yeah, been in that, been in that. I take it you can't get over there then. That looks like a place we should go, to be honest. Is this a giant propane tank? I wonder what would happen if you threw a small propane tank into a giant propane tank. <laughs> oh, that opens. Let's have a look around. This is like the brightest flashlight ever. What, are you saying that's not valuable? Hmm. Man, they spent some time modeling stuff. There's a bad building in the trash can you move. I'll get it in a sec then, Buzz. You mean back at that little building there? Don't like that sound. 
That's the sound of bzz. An Agent B4 comic collection worth $75. This looks entirely safe. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I don't know if we can zip slide down these cables. Lel. <laughs> Smash it. Is that what you would do if you was confronted with like a megawatt generator or whatever this thing is? Just smash it. Oh, hello. Cheeky. A distance laser worth $140. I thought there had to be something up here. Oh god. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but we just fell. There must be something in the back of the van. Really? Where was this thing then, Baz? Was it in this thing? Oh, where I put the graffiti? Jeez, that was ages ago. What's your delay? Right, where was it in here? On a shelf in the wall, the building with the graffiti in it. Okay, well, the graffiti was in here. Electric screwdriver. There you go. No, that wasn't streaming blindness. You were the only one I saw. I looked up and saw your message. You're special, Baz. Right, we'll leave that there. Let's go and find these other computers. Oh, you cheeky dev. How, how dare you double lock that? So violent. Coffee Max 200. It's rubbish. <laughs> Aha! Now you'll have nowhere to go on the toilet. <laughs> I always hated that copier. Oh my god. Nobody wants a buzzing fluorescent light in their life. Nobody. Apparently the pictures are valuable. 50 shades of capitalism worth $40. Wait, what was that? 
building inspector, fire safety inspector. Today's visitors. Oh, the building inspector's coming. Oh, when they found out. Oh, my God. The building inspector. Rip. <laughs> Is there an attic? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't look like one. Could be wrong. No. Mission accomplished. Not quite. Not quite mission accomplished. I actually thought that was a blue flashing light of a police car then. Can we not move that? Minecraft is ray tracing looks good. It's still Minecraft though, isn't it? Right, here we go. For science. That was cool. We like big explosions. <laughs> yeah, we're just putting some extra ventilation in for them. Say, look, it's a bit stuffy in there. All right, let's get out of here. We've, uh, We've dug ourselves into a big enough hole. Bravo Whiskey, thank you for 16 months. Good evening. 22 minutes mission time. Let's see who spotted us on camera this time. No, 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 no. Shh, shh, shh. No music. Hit and run. No fun. For Lee son. Breaking at Lee Chemicals. The perpetrator caused property damage. No. I managed to get away with electronic equipment. Look at the hole. CEO Lawrence Lee Jr. says they will upgrade security and should be up and running again soon. Wow. Okay. No, 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 no music, no. Black River Classic Car Auction this Wednesday. We've got nine hundred and sixty dollars. Maybe maybe Mum can pay the bill now. What's this? Hang on. Can we pay the gas bill now? How do you tell her to pay the gas bill? Login devices. Wait, you can do the mission again, even though we've done it already. Can we upgrade anything yet? No upgrades available. How did it say we find upgrades? Do you have to find the upgrades in the world, or...? The customer registry indicates that Lee has worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is only referred to as BT. Really? British Telecom. And no further details. So I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals, fetch their employee login devices. I should be able to cross-reference their log files and delivery schedule to figure out where they're moving the products and what British Telecom means. I heard they installed a new security system. Be careful. Uh-oh. I gotta steal three login devices without being tripping the security. They're protected by an alarm system. Security arrives 60 seconds after the alarm is triggered. Make sure to plan ahead. Oh, I see. So we've essentially got to do a hit and run. We've got to like plan grabbing three devices and leaving within 60 seconds, I think. We can do that. 
I wonder if they've uh, kept our extra ventilation slots. Uh, your position, escape vehicle, factory north, storage, and factory west. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go to factory west first and have a look around. I wonder what the security looks like. Quillez security. Well, I ain't going in that way. Rule number one, never use the front door. Climb a tree, though. Come on. Up you get. There we go. Right, so there's one in that building. There's one in the big building behind behind that one. There. Let's see if we've got a crane. Like as if we've got a crane. Like, what can we lift up? Can we lift one of these things? No way. Has the alarm gone off yet? This crane is amazing. 290 cats, finally a game worth to play since doggy, Dodgy Builders and Dodgy Demolisher. Uh, thank you very much, 290 cats. Thanks for four months. Don't break the what? The wire to the alarm. I don't know. I haven't even done any of that yet. Right, so there's one in here. Don't know what all this is about. Oh, there you go. up the target key read a primary target and that's the alarm so once you pull that that starts a 60 second alarm timer right at that point you need to be legging it out of here so we can just jump straight out of here run this way i doubt it Baz. that would be too easy that's one how do we get over there to that one? That's the question. Wait, there was a... Um, there is a walkway there, look. We need to smash a hole up here, so just above that, so we can run across there. So we can basically grab this, get up there, and get out that way. And this is where I put the crane in the water. No, I did not want that. That's not what I wanted. Well, rip. No, don't, don't, don't fall in the water. Don't fall in the water. Oh, I might still be able to do it. I can perhaps jump on the arm. Maybe. Let's try that. <laughs> Wasn't quite the plan. 
So we grab this one, we leg it this way, we jump on here, and then we jump out of there, and then we jump on there, and then we wonder how on earth we're going to get in there. But since we don't need to get in there, we're okay, and we kind of jump this way, and then... We'll then drop into here. Like that. Aha! See? And then we grab that one. Now, so that's number two. Truck Crush, thank you for 31 months. Um, I'm wondering if there's any more valuables to be stole, or are they all gone because we took them last time? I'm kind of thinking they've already gone. So we grab that, and then we need to get out of here. We need to head northbound into that building. Okay. I wish I had a compass. So this is the th third building. No, this is not the third building. I think this is the third building. Giant, hang on, there's a giant entrance through there. We'll make a door anyway, just in case. Spray can is for planning. Planning? Planning? What are you talking about? Oh, that's only the plaster. So if we get into here, we can leg it across here and then wonder where the last one is. Must be downstairs. We jump down here. Wait, where is it? Oh, is it, is it up there? So you'd come through there, leg it up here, grab the third one. Get out, run, and then wonder how you're going to get out of here. Can you hold this from the inside? There you go. Maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, let's make the exit route. Let's smash the wall down. We don't need a gate. <laughs> the entire front of the truck is gone. <laughs> there you go. That's the way out. Okay, I think we've got a vague plan. Hopping up that bit's the worst, and then you end up in here. And then we come out of there, jump down. I just hope 60 seconds is long enough for this run. Kind of handy if you can get out this way. Hmm. I mean, we could move things around, but I think we can still do it. I just hope we've got 60 seconds. 60 seconds on the clock. Do you reckon we can do this? 
If not, we'll have to make some more holes in walls. So we grab. All right, quick save. Ready? Go. That's two. Wow, that 60 seconds is... Uh... Can you not run any quicker, dude? I don't think we can do this. Took a wrong turn, but we're still good. Go up the... Grab the third one. 20 seconds. Come on, dude, run! Chopper's here, and go. Chopper ignores the van driving away. <laughs> 60 seconds sounds like a long time, but... <laughs> oh, I like that. Look at this. It actually shows you the route that we took. No way. That's interesting. I wonder why it gives you that. Is it so that you can maybe plot a, a quicker route? Maybe they'll, like, have a harder version later. I mean, that was fairly efficient. I think I made a wrong turn, but... If it had put a hole in that wall, I could have jumped straight through it, couldn't I? Instead of that couple of seconds looping back. But yeah, look at that. I reckon a lot of people would have tried to escape at the gate and be like, Ah, the gate doesn't open. you reached a new rank. A new tool has been delivered. The blowtorch. <gasps> no way. Like, oh, so we can cut metal now. Interesting. Let's have a look what we can upgrade. Related to the event last week when computers were stolen. No. No. Decent food, decent prices. Gub Grill. In West Point Marina. Try our special. Open Fridays. Breaking news. Lee Chemicals. Hey, hang on. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I put a hole in the wall. Outrageous. Several buildings were damaged and a number of devices from the entry security system were stolen. <gasps> the police say the break-in might be related to the event last week. When computers were stolen. No, they wouldn't go back twice, surely. Only a fool would do that. Moody Monkey, thank you for 82 months, sir. All right, let me have a look at tools. Sledge. Oh, here we go. Blowtorch. Cut through metal, wood, and plastic can occasionally set things on fire. Upgrade $100 plus 10 fuel. Totally worth it. The number of seconds you can use it. There you go. Max blowtorch, why not? If you're going to need it, you might as well be able to use it, right? You can play it in VR. I have no idea. Is there anything you can do around your kind of base here? Or is that it? Is it just... What's with all the scrap? I 
I don't like the way that you can't twist the arm at all. <laughs> Not quite what I had in mind, but yeah, okay. Well, there goes that container. <laughs> like, are you, is there anything that you're supposed to be doing here, or is it just... You just locked in now. Looks like you're locked in. Consider yourself not locked in. <laughs> can we, um, can we just escape the map? Mwahaha. <laughs> oh, I thought I'd. I thought I'd get a nice reward for that. For being clever. Nothing in there either. Boring. This is no invisible wall. That's true. It's slightly better than invisible wall. Hmm. I've got an idea. Are you serious? There we go. The bus doesn't stop here anymore. <laughs> no more buses. Oh, it's a tractor. Look at this. It's actually a tractor here. This is amazing. Wow, this is better than farming sim. Look at this. It's even got soil physics. Look, if you add a bit of crop rotation to this. Look at that. Oh, we don't need crops anyway. What do we need crops for, eh? Hang on. Try and get back on board. AN411, thank you for 56 months. Been waiting for you to play this. I need to get... Oh, I really have to cut this thing down every time. There we go. Hmm. 